and greetings everyone in this video we will be looking at uh, linear programming exam type question for nc level 3 at uh, an achieve level so some of the skills uh, that will be demonstrated in this video uh, will be uh, linear programming processes and steps uh, forming in equations and graphing them using decimals uh, obtaining a feasible region and then uh, finding the optimal solutions now in order to achieve uh, this uh, standard uh, you will need to demonstrate uh, at least two different skills uh, towards solving uh, the problem so we'll have a look at this example and um, go through the uh, processes for uh, solving this using uh, linear programming so in this example it says um, after the cyclone medical kits and bottled uh, water are to be delivered to the survivors uh, by an airplane urgently um, each medical kit weighs uh, 20 kilograms and each bottled water weighs uh, 10 kilograms each aeroplane can carry no more than uh, 80,000 kilograms. Um, each aeroplane uh, can carry a total volume of supplies that does not exceed 6,000 cubic meters. Uh, each medical supply kit has a volume of one cubic meter. And uh, each uh, bottled water also has a volume of one cubic meter. Uh, each aeroplane should carry at least uh, 1,500 bottles of water and a minimum of 1,000 medical kits. Um, each medical kit will uh, aid 10 people and each bottle of water will save uh, six people and then the question says uh, uh, how many medical kits and uh, how many bottles of water uh, should be sent on each airplane to maximize the number of uh, cyclone survivors who can be helped so your assessment will be similar to this and uh, what you need to do is uh, you will need to identify the key phrases and uh, use um, the inequalities that go with those key phrases and form in equations once you form the inequations then you will uh, uh, graph them and find the feasible region and then uh, see uh, which one gives the maximum number of uh, survivors who can be helped so if you can uh, decipher the information that's given in context and uh, create a table this will assist you in forming the uh, in equations so what you need to do is uh, you must define the variables so in this case uh, we'll let x be the number of uh, medical kits and uh, y be the number of uh, bottled water and uh, what i have done here is uh, using these uh, variables x as the medical kits as you can see medical kits here and bottled water is y and using the information that's uh, already given i have um, filled in this table so we had uh, weight restriction and the uh, maximum capacity was uh, 80,000 kilograms so um, the total here and then we had the volume restriction on the aircraft and um, uh, the uh, volume was uh, no more than 6,000 so it should not exceed 6,000 cubic uh, uh, meters so that's why the total is 6,000 or less and then uh, 20 was the uh, uh, weight for medical kits so medical kits are 20 and 10 for uh, 10 kilograms for the water bottle so that's how i uh, did the um, table there you don't need to do that uh, but um, first things first you need to um, define the variables then uh, we look at the objective function now the uh, objective function it says that um, each medical kit second uh, last bullet point says each medical kit will aid uh, uh, 10 people so it's 10 x so 10 x plus um, each bottled water bottled water is variable y so bottled water will save six people so 10 x plus 6 y is our objective function so that's what i've got there and then of course uh, using the uh, restrictions or constraints given we can form the um, inequality so for the weight so weight in kilograms we had the uh, restrictions there so 20 x so 20 kilograms uh, is the weight for a medical kit plus uh, 10 y is less than equal to 80,000, which was the maximum weight for the um, airplane and then we had the volume the um, total should not exceed uh, 6,000 uh, cubic meters so, so x plus y is less than equal to 6,000 
and then uh, we were also told that aeroplane should carry at least 1500 bottles of water and minimum of a thousand medical kits so medical kits is uh, greater than equal to thousand bottled water is uh, greater than equal to 1500 so once you've uh, written all the constraints then it's easy the next step is uh, uh, graphing these inequalities using uh, desmos which i will show you next so you can go to uh, desmos.com and uh, um, draw the function so using desmos is pretty straightforward uh, please do watch my previous videos so there's two methods there either shading in or shading out so um, basically what you need to do is you just type all the um, inequalities that you have uh, uh, formed uh, based on the context uh, that was given and the restrictions so we'll type those functions so the first one was uh, 20 uh, x uh, plus uh, 10y is uh, less than uh, equal to 80,000 that was the uh, weight and then we had the x uh, plus y is less than equal to uh, 6000 this was the volume uh, restriction if you remember and then we had uh, x greater than equal to 1000 uh, and then uh, the last was y is uh, greater than equal to uh, 1500 once you have done that then uh, zoom out you will be able to see the feasible region uh, so um, as you can see it here so uh, the feasible region is the uh, darker region um, if it's um, harder for you guys to uh, see the feasible region uh, what you can do is uh, you can do shading out just by reversing each of these inequalities so if i just reverse the signs greater than so once um, i've reversed the um, inequalities you can see that it's shading out and it's easy to see the uh, feasible region the unshaded region in this case uh, will be the feasible region and then you can click the uh, um, vertices you get the same result and that's basically what we are after i've shown you the uh, two methods either shading in or shading out so um, shading out is pretty easy to see the uh, uh, feasible region uh, either way you'll get the same um, uh, vertices so once you've got the vertices then uh, you will need to put these uh, coordinates in the objective function to see which one gives the uh, maximum so i've already filled in the table for you i'd suggest if you can pause the video and uh, uh, do it yourself and see if your answer matches with this so um, the uh, vertex um, uh, 1000 and 1500 so a thousand is the x coordinate and the uh, 1500 is uh, y coordinate so make sure you uh, substitute these in the right spots so uh, objective function was given by 10 x plus 6 y because uh, 10 is uh, uh, where they estimated that uh, each medical uh, kit will aid 10 people and uh, each bottle water which is variable y will save six people so 10x plus 6y and then we had uh, 10 times the uh, x coordinate 1000 plus 6 times the y coordinate value 1500 gives you 19000 so number of people that they can uh, help using this combination and then uh, we did the same thing for the other coordinates that are there and uh, we can clearly see that uh, 44000 is the uh, maximum value here so maximum number of people that can be helped um, is uh, 44,000 uh, people so we need to write the uh, answer in context so the maximum number of cyclone survivors uh, who can be helped uh, with each airplane shipment is uh, 44,000 uh, people and uh, this can be accomplished by sending uh, 2,000 uh, medical kits and uh, 4,000 uh, bottles of water per airplane. So each airplane should be loaded as such to uh, take uh, 2,000 medical kits and 4,000 uh, uh, bottles of water in order to uh, uh, help a maximum number of people. I hope this makes sense. So uh, to achieve, you will need to be able to um, uh, demonstrate two different skills if you don't have desmos graphing tool you can still uh, find the um, vertices by solving these uh, lines simultaneously 
um, and uh, you will still get the um, same uh, points of intersection here and points of intersection will denote the as uh, vertices uh, in the uh, next video we will be looking at uh, the uh, merit and excellence part uh, uh, to this problem thanks for watching i'll see you guys in the next video